Hello, Pisces. This is going to be your June love and sex reading. You are the last sign for June. Um, sorry for the delay. So, this is going to be for someone that you may be thinking about. Um, it really could be for anything, but what typically comes through is usually romantic energy. That's just what I tend to channel. But if something else comes through as far as career or general stuff, then obviously I will touch on that. Okay? So this is a general reading for all Pisces. Now, if it doesn't resonate with your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, it may not be your reading this month. So you can try again next month. I'm trying to do readings within the first week of each month. And then again... How do they feel about you readings? Mid-month. So there'll be another batch coming shortly, but I wanted to get some readings done first. And in between, I will have a pick a card reading, so I may have that for you in the next couple days. So this is gonna be for all Pisces. Alright, let's see what we've got. <clears throat> we have the King of Pentacles person you're dealing with, Knight of Swords reversed, in your energy we have the Sun, crossing the King of Pentacles, we've got the Queen of Pentacles, <coughs> now let's pull the romantic energies, I'm going to actually move this over here. Release your ex. And true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. So I'm actually going to grab a light so that I can show the cards and you'll actually be able to see them. <clears throat> so let's get this light set up. So I just feel like it may be too dark. Okay, so let's see. Let's make it better light on the cards. We're about to find out. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to clarify with a new deck today because everybody has a complaint about <laughs> the lighter deck that I use, the Ethereal Visions deck. So we're going to use this one. This is Golden Tarot. It's medieval themed. I love it. So, I'm just going to get started real quick and read the cards, though. So, the heart of the matter, this, the central energy, energetic theme, right? We've got the King of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who may have made some poor, poor financial choices, okay? Um, they were may not have been loyal, trustworthy, uh, may not have been someone that you thought were a good provider. They may have been irresponsible with money, maybe, like, immature in some way when it came to financial stuff. Um, which crossing it, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody who is very focused, um, driven, um, you know, more mature, obviously, but also somebody who is um, loyal. They are very grounded, um, motherly. They don't. It, it doesn't have to be a female, but that's. It's more of like a a gentle energy. Okay, um, so more of like a mature energy here, but someone who's loyal, faithful, um, very focused on what they want, not in a, not in a needy or possessive way though, okay? So, you know, we've got these two court cards here, and this is a pair crossing each other, so it's almost like one party was obviously making some poor choices, maybe irresponsible in some way, not loyal, trustworthy, faithful maybe, um, and the other party was the more mature of the two. Now, in their energy, we have the Knight of Swords, okay? This is a lack of communication, a lack of clarity, and a lack of movement. This person may have been holding back from you, not really telling you what was going on, maybe being secretive, kind of shady, 
um, not communicating and not really coming towards you in some way. This could be the situation now where they're not communicating. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, doesn't have to be those signs, but it could be someone with those signs in their chart. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have the sun in your energy. This is a happy card, okay? This is illumination, Leo. Um, <clears throat> but it's about something being illuminated where you see the truth, you've got clarity, you're feeling pretty good, you're, f you're happier, you're doing well, right? It's like this shit, it's like you're putting it behind you and moving forward. Okay, so now I'm going to clarify this. <clears throat> so why is the King of Pentacles here? We have the Seven of Coins. <laughs> okay. So the Seven of Pentacles is really about um, putting in this effort, right? Waiting, but it's like waiting for something, right? So you may have been waiting for this person. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is someone who waits to see if the effort that they put in, like the, the fruits of their labor is going to blossom. You may have been waiting on this person to see the effort um, and all the time and energy you put into them. It's actually going to make any difference in their behavior, right? And they may still have acted however they acted, regardless, right? But it's like somebody was waiting for somebody to start acting right. Where's the queen here? Where's the queen of pentacles here? <clears throat> the seven of wands. So the seven of wands is about feeling defensive. So you, you may have been on the defense, or they could have been on the defense, but it's almost like somebody felt attacked, okay? So maybe you expressed something to this person, like, you know, you're not acting, there's something wrong here, why are you acting this way? Um, especially if you're the more mature one in the relationship and expect this person to act in a certain way, in a certain manner, and treat you a certain way. Um, they may have gotten very defensive, you know. Um, if they didn't, it could be your energy, whatever you resonate with, because the, res the energies are interchangeable, remember. Okay, so if you don't resonate with one side, it could be the other side. But someone may have gotten a little defensive here. So let's see, why is the Knight of Swords here in their energy? We have the five of coins. This is someone feeling left out in the cold. You may feel left out in the cold by them. They may feel left out in the cold by you, but it's really about feeling ghosted. Okay, this is a card of feeling ghosted. No communication right now. So someone's feeling a little ghosted, I think. A little left out in the cold. You know, you may have broken things off with them because they weren't acting right, and maybe they feel left out in the cold, so they're not communicating with you at all, not reaching out. <clears throat> Whatever resonates, right? So let's see, why is the sun here? We have the eight of cups reversed. The sun is about, you know, like I said, moving forward, right? <clears throat> now the eight of cups is someone moving on to find those other two cups to complete the Ten of Cups, right? Now, reverse, somebody's not fully moving on, but it's like you, so you either, maybe you are moving on and they haven't moved on, okay? Or um, you're ready to move on, okay? This is somebody who's ready to move on also, like they're ready to go. They just haven't done it yet. Like they just haven't 100% detached. Um, you may be feeling really a lot better about the situation, ready to move forward, um, but you may not have fully move forward into tap just yet, but it's like you're on your way, okay? It's like you're moving on to something better. So let's see. Now we have release your ex. So <laughs> why is release your ex here? What's this about? Is someone to fly out? <clears throat> we do have the empress. So someone needs to release their ex. The time has come to clear your energy. The empress is about expansion and growth, right? She has a child here. Some of you may have a child. Uh, involved here, but you know, this is saying release your ex so that you can grow as a, as a person and expand. The Empress is, uh, you know, she's the queen of all queens. She's very attractive. She knows what she wants. She's confident. She goes after what she wants. Um, she's very, um, she's a balanced individual, okay? But she's a kind of like the emblem of growth and personal growth, expansion, 
Um, for me, beauty sometimes because the Empress is, uh, I think, Libra and Taurus, right? And Taurus and Libra are for, uh, Venus, which is beauty. Okay, so it's like you can. It's almost about releasing your ex so you, you can get into this energy. You know, where you're feeling like you, you're living your best life, so you can grow as a person. So let's see. Why is true love here? What is this about? It's almost like you may, because I'm getting true love for those of you, like, meeting someone new. <clears throat> um, but first you have to release your ex. Yeah, we have nine of swords. Um, so this is something, like, keeping you up at night sometimes, haunting. Um, so you may, you know, here's what I'm getting, actually. It's almost like... You know, this person that you may, leave behind, may have to leave behind or choose to leave behind, you may feel like it's true love, you know, this is difficult to leave behind, which is why you may be getting into this energy of, like, feeling a little haunted by it, right? So, it, it, may, it may be a new person for some of you, for others, I think it's really just about moving forward and, you know, getting into this brand new energy, right? So... <coughs> going to get some blocks. So let's get some blocks. Where are some blocks here? Or Pisces. What are some blocks? And the person that they're dealing with. We have marriage. The situation involves marriage. So for some of you, this could have been a marriage. Okay, this could have been the breakup or the like di something dissolving, like a higher level of commitment. Someone could be already married. You could be married. They could be married. You could be married to each other. You know. <clears throat> but for some of you, this does involve marriage in some way. Then we have balance, and the energy needs to be balanced. So something is out of balance. Somebody's not getting the attention that they need, they deserve. Um, something's very out of balance here. It's like a one-sided relationship. That's what that card usually means for me. It's like when somebody's, it's like one-sided, or it feels one-sided. Then we have surprise, an unexpected message is on the way. So some of you may be getting a message, um, you may be getting some sort of indication um, of something, what that message will be. We're gonna find out, hopefully, very soon. <laughs> so another one, then we have engagement, someone is ready to take things to the next level. Yeah, so again, I think this is about a higher level of commitment here for some of you. And then finally, we have children. There are children involved in this situation. Like I said earlier, for some of you, there is a child involved because the Empress does have, I mean, there's a baby here, but she does have a child in her lap. Okay, like I said, I, I do get a strong vibe for some of you. Not all of you, obviously, you're going to have children in the equation, but I think there's some of you that do. And that's going to be a special message for you okay, if there is a child involved. So let's pull some of these soul connection cards from Angelic Revelation. I'm going to put her info in the description box if you're interested in any of her decks because they're really good and I like them a lot. If you didn't notice, because I'm using them in every single reading at this point. <laughs> so let's get some ideas of what's going on here energetically within the soul connection. We have the sun. We've got the sun already in the general reading. Okay, this is the second time the sun has come out. The sun. So confidence, courage, success, and happiness. Okay? So this is coming out over marriage. This a situation involves marriage. So for some of you, this is about, you know, the success in this 
in this connection, in this higher level of commitment, right? Um, is there going to be happiness and success here? Then we have clouds, shadow and light. Exactly, balance. The energy needs to be balanced. Shadow and light is really, you know, um, <clears throat> something's hidden, right? Something's being hidden, something's not, it's, stu it's in the dark still. This is why things are not balanced. It may seem like a one-sided relationship for whatever reason because someone's in the dark about something. Not all has been revealed, okay? There's shadow and light here, okay? Something needs to be revealed. Until then, it's gonna feel very out of balance, very one-sided. Like something's being kept from somebody. Something is being kept from somebody. <laughs> Then we have the ship, overseas travel. And this is coming out right over, surprise, an unexpected message is on the way. So some of you may be receiving a message in regarding travel, in regards to travel. Someone may travel to see you. You may be traveling to see somebody. Um, you know, it, it's really about two people coming together, I think, but it, making arrangements. Something is going to be unexpected though. You may get a message that you, you were not even thinking about. You may not have expected it in any way. Okay. It will be a surprise when it happens. It could happen any time. And then we have coffin. Painful a painful transition and calling to soul mission. Okay, and then we have engagement. Someone is ready to take things to the next level. Now, it's almost like this, here's what I'm getting. I think it's kind of, for me, it's I, I can see this whole narrative unfold, but it's almost like somebody wants confidence and happiness and success in this connection, okay? This higher level of commitment. Um, however, there are some, it's out of balance. It, it may feel like there's shadows, things are being hidden, so it's, uh, it may feel kind of one-sided. You may get a, an unexpected message from this person or about this person coming to visit or you traveling but you know when it comes to this higher level of commitment and engagement ready to take things to the next level this is a transition right and this is someone that is it's a painful transition okay this is going to challenge this person to you know kind of really give you this higher level of commitment because they may not be ready and they may not be able to fully give you what you want yet um, so for them, like maybe they're emotionally unavailable, right? So for them, it's like a painful, it's like it's difficult. Um, I mean, it shouldn't be painful, but for some it is, right? What can you do? Um, but it, it's in regards to bring, taking things to the next level, right? They're having difficulty. That's what this card's all about. They're having difficulty getting into that um, confidence, that mindset to take things to the next level with you. They may be commitment phobe, right? Then we have children, there are children involved, and we have choice. Ascending to a higher plane, infinite possibilities can indicate choices in love. You see there's three people involved here, okay? So again, there could be a child involved, and it's really gonna be about choices that you're making. Are you making choices for the relationship? Are you making choices with the child involved um, and them in mind? It, it's all gonna come down to how you're viewing the situation and it may be a difficult choice for some of you and you're gonna have to choose what's best for the child if you're in a marriage, you know, it's stuff like that. I think that's the, the theme that's coming up here. It's like, it's gonna be about a choice, um, whether or not you stay in something that is really, is toxic or not toxic or going somewhere or not going somewhere, even if there is a child involved, right? That's a choice that you're gonna have to make. That's a judgment call that you're gonna have to make. And I think that's why it could be, you know, a difficult one for many of you. For those of you that do not have a child involved, you know, um, again, this is about choices, okay? Making the choice, what are you going to be doing here? Do you stay, do you walk away, do you let the past go? Do you let go of the ex, okay? So, the last couple cards are going to be advice cards on how to move things forward, things that you should know, 
steps to take. So what's some advice for Pisces? Some advice for Pisces. <clears throat> We have affirmations. So to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, can't read that, <laughs> use positive affirmations, okay? So it's really about staying in a positive frame of mind, positive mindset, um, and if you're, especially if you're thinking negatively about the situation, you know, start to really affirm to yourself that things are gonna be okay, okay? Over and over and over again. We are, like, we are, as within, so without, right? Like, whatever is going on inside, what we really believe is what we attract. Then we have sun. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like I said, children. Um, so your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. Okay, so for those of you who, again, who have children, who have a son, maybe even a daughter, you know, know that they are going to be, they're okay. They're in this situation. They're fine. They're being watched over and they're being protected. No matter what choice you're going to make, then we have everything's okay so don't worry it's all working out in a beautiful way so it's telling you to have faith here you know just relax and allow the universe to let things go you know let the universe take over for you because everything is okay it's all okay it's fine it's going to work out exactly the way it's intended to okay. no need to stress about this so that's going to be your reading, Pisces. I hope that it resonated. If it did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of your evening.